German psychopaths versus Dutch psychopaths. This is a single direction Dutch psychopath in the countryside. It's two and a half meters wide and very smooth. Here's a bi-directional path in the Dutch countryside. It's four meters wide, also very smooth. Since this video was made, it has actually been upgraded. And here's a bi-directional psychopath in the German countryside. It's much narrower. We're stuck behind a very slow cyclist and it's difficult to overtake. If someone was coming in the opposite direction, there would be a problem. This is a Dutch urban psychopath, two and a half meters wide. The junction is designed extremely well with good sight lines so that we can continue at speed. This is a German urban psychopath. The psychopath is very narrow. The sight lines are not very good at all. And this is actually bi-directional, despite its extreme narrowness. When we approach junctions, it's not at all clear who has priority. And the surface is not very smooth. Even the locals seem to be a bit confused. And the problem here is that I could easily end up on the road because we're so close. There should be a gap between the road and the psychopath for safety. At a well-designed Dutch traffic light junction, I can make left turns in one movement. This is in complete safety because all of the other traffic is stopped while cyclists move. The cycle paths are again very wide. At a German traffic light junction, I have more problems in getting across the road. First, I cross to an island. Then I must wait at this island for quite a long time. We're still waiting for a green light. The cycling part of the infrastructure is actually very narrow. Only the man on the left is on the cycle path correctly. The woman on the right rides on the area for pedestrians and I still can't make my left turn because that requires stopping for another traffic light. This is not very efficient. This is crossing the border from the Netherlands into Germany. The cycle path gets narrower and there is a Mercedes on it. Though to be fair, this one had a Dutch number plate. And in the opposite direction, crossing from Germany into the Netherlands, You see how the cycle path gets wider, so that it is then possible to ride side by side. We have some very wide and very smooth cycle paths in the Netherlands, even in the middle of the countryside, and these make long distance cycling very enjoyable.